Currently, we are around 350 billion rand worth of debt on the balance sheet. We have uh, 350 billion rand worth of government guarantees that are available to us uh, under the guarantee framework agreement that has been extended to 2023. Uh, we've currently committed 250 billion of that against the debt that we have on the balance sheet and future debt. Um, and we do not believe that we will require any additional government guarantees over and above the 350 billion rand. We currently expect the debt to peak at around 500 billion over the next five years and thereafter start decreasing. Um, the peak of the debt is linked to the peak in the capital expenditure cycle. So as we complete Madupi and Kusila and Ingula, uh, you will see that the debt profile starts reducing and the debt requirement starts reducing. Uh, we have um, indicated that we have an aspiration to be able to release uh, about 300 billion worth of government guarantees in the next three years. Um, so that also will start reducing the ESCOM's uh, reliance on the fiscus. 100 billion. The loan signed today was with China Development Bank. It's a $1.5 billion uh, facility agreement that we've signed, uh, which means that we can draw down around just under 20 billion rands uh, from China Development Bank. The funds for the, uh, under the facility agreement will be used to fund the, the capital expenditure for Madupi. Uh, so it is a dedicated loan to fund Madupi capital expenditure. It is a 15-year agreement, um, so that means that we will repay capital interest over the next 15 years. And we have a period of five years within which to draw down the uh, 1.5 billion dollars. The cost of the loan we've actually benchmarked against other loans that we've issued for of uh, similar size and nature. Uh, we've also uh, benchmarked it against a potential issuance in the global market uh, for that size of 1.5 billion dollars. It's a relatively large loan, as you would know. Uh, you don't do these transactions every day, but uh, we're relatively comfortable that even when we compare it to our weighted average cost of debt, it is a relatively competitively priced uh, facility. With global and geopolitical um, uh, factors that change almost daily these days, uh, it is difficult to, uh, to put a number on uh, what we may or may not do with China Development Bank in the future. But it's safe to say that the, um, the two loans that we've signed up with the China Development Bank uh, thus far is part of an, a memorandum of understanding that was signed between the Department of Energy and the uh, Chinese government um, uh, when the BRICS summit actually happened here in South Africa about three, four years ago. And that facility agreement was a $20 billion facility agreement, of which, were, of which $5 billion was allocated to ESCOM. Yes, I think the, the governance issues are a reality that we need to be faced with. Uh, I think the financial markets are relatively sensitive to uh, governance issues, uh, not only in state-owned companies, but any, any, any company. And um, I think uh, one of the um, uh, asset managers has already suspended uh, funding to ESCOM. So it is a reality that we are faced with. Uh, uh, we are engaging with uh, future growth quite actively in terms of being able to uh, continue um, uh, with future growth. Uh, but notwithstanding future growth, I think um, the, um, the financial sector is a highly regulated sector of the economy and uh, they need to have uh, very robust compliance processes. So we've just come off the back of a uh, rather intensive due diligence processes by three international banks uh, for a potential bond issuance in the next uh, three to six months. And um, we've been able to uh, provide uh, clarity on all of the governance issues based on the facts um, and available evidence that we have available to us uh, to their satisfaction up to now. Well, I think uh, certainly it would have a significantly uh, aversive effect um, in terms of if we do not realize the tariff increases that we anticipate. Um, on the upside though, the three RCA applications that you refer to that we have submitted to NASA, um, we have uh, factored a portion of those into the cash flows. So it's not all of those that have been factored into the cash flows. Um, so from that perspective, if they do not realize, I think from a business perspective, uh, we wouldn't, uh, um, we wouldn't um, suffer material uh, impacts. Uh, but if we continue, obviously, on the basis of getting 2.2 tab, 
2.2% tariff increases as we've uh, experienced in the current year. Uh, ESCOM's ability to repay its debt will be significantly, significantly impaired. I think the investors, though, are relatively quite um, uh, shielded against that, obviously because they have government guarantees. Uh, and the guarantee framework agreement obviously is in place, and so they are relatively comfortable still to, to uh, provide funding to ESCOM.